they said it's gonna only happen in Aries reading so let's just do it in Aries reading okay welcome to divine masculine tarot my name is Shwanaya today my goal was and is to make 12 videos and put them on the this divine masculine tarot channel one time because I have been neglecting this channel and this was my first very first tarot idea so this is my baby you know yes i appreciate aries caribbean tarot because that's my destiny you know that's where i go that's where i'm needed most i do enjoy helping everybody all aries however i need to give this channel equal attention you know because the men and them really need a strength these days with all these witches in their life. The masculine energy of creation needs the, needs the divine feminine to do divine feminine things, right? Oh, that's what's going on here. I don't know, my eyes look like that. Yeah, I was probably crying now. That's why it said it's going to only happen in Aries <laughs> reading. So, welcome Aries to Divine Masculine Energy. Divine Masculine Aries beings and that. I just felt like today I was spiritually attacked by a demon that is trying to re prevent me from reaching my goal of uploading 12 videos to this channel. I really, really felt it feel it and then i was there saying on the channel i was there saying you know i'm not gonna upload no more something even tell me just now guys something tell me oh don't record no more you're gonna record these others tomorrow and this morning i, I had so much enthusiasm and fervent det determination to say i am going to record 12 videos today and release them at midnight so everybody's going to feel good it's not going to be a no peace peace thing yeah i don't know what happened to me but the thing is it's a pastor bringing this energy i don't know we can't really trust nobody these days guys it's a pastor bringing very confusing energy very lustful energy a pastor, a very married pastor. I don't know what he wants with me. He doesn't even know me, right? And he blocked my energy today. Tried to disturb me and, and change my vibes. So welcome. I, I will timestamp this so you can just skip to the reading and ignore my nonsense. But you guys know how I am. So if you are on Aries, Caribbean Tower, you know what went what went down. This is this is what's going on, guys. Yeah. So more than usual, the, the Aries reading is gonna be longer. And I'm telling you, if you know the amount of good feeling i had this morning <laughs> when i is like i say yes man i'm feeling the vibes i'm going to do all 12 of them today and i was even thinking about that girl there i was on her energy ah, she call herself these days she, she just keep changing val 333 tarot and her husband sidekick tarot hi it's like I admire her work ethic yeah because uh, each of her readings are unique well I, I watch for Taurus and Aries whatever uh, a lot of them don't make sense to me but what I like is how she does it she doesn't give a fuck and she's giving you the honest truth I mean yeah what else do you want you know but most I don't understand her readings some of them don't connect with me but I like her as an individual right it says I am just so stressed about everything in my life. Shit has not been easy, Aries. Your divine masculine is going through it. I don't know why I'm hearing in my head this sound like me. <laughs> I recall my energy, all my energy. I'm in divine masculine energy, you know. 
I'm the feminine. It says, I just need to escape everything and everyone. I'm the feminine. I'm sure I'm the feminine because I'm not going after my twin. I'm not, I'm, I never feel like chasing him. Never. I feel bound, like I have to wait for him forever. So I feel. So I know I'm not the masculine. <laughs> in reverse, it says, I know I'm stuck in my ways, but I don't know how to fix it. Wow. So this divine masculine here is, they, they know they're stuck in their ways and they know how to fix it. What? I like how you nourish my soul. <laughs> So you, this is a divine masculine here who has been listening to divine feminine and taking action. I'm well aware of my behavior towards you and I feel foolish. I'm telling you. Right now they're well stressed out and they're missing you. That's what's going on here. That's all. What can you give to me? Seriously? What can you give to me? What do you want? My love will hurt you like a motherfucker. <laughs> I did recall my energy, babes. Son of my life alone fucked up. I, I, I swear I felt my twin just now. And I, what does this feel like? It's my life. I like how you nourish my soul. I'm well aware of behavior. I know I'm stuck. I'm just stressed about everything. I, I don't know about that. So no, it doesn't feel like my life. We're toxic together, but I can't let you go and move on. Definitely not my life. So, yes, I did recall my energy. But sometimes it can it can look a bit similar, but I don't know. I don't think my twin is toxic at the moment. Okay, what else? Hmm. I almost didn't come, guys. Oh, that's my stomach. Say amen. That's what I'm called healing. <laughs> I just love it. That's the sound of the man working on the train in reverse. Soul ties. I always feel connected to you. Well, let's leave it like this. Maybe in reverse, maybe upright. Understanding. I see the side of the story. Two of them come out like this. So they don't always feel connected to you. And they don't always see your side of the story. Let's just tell the fucking truth. Because this love is going to hurt like a motherfucker. And these, hurt, these words are quite hurtful like a motherfucker. So I'm not spraying nobody. Because this is a person here who wants to know what can you give to them. This divine masculine is asking what can you give to me. In reverse. Guilty. I feel the pain from the damage I have caused. They don't feel the pain. They are well aware. Of how they feel towards you. They feel foolish. But honey they don't feel the pain. They know that you are irreplaceable. Our love is always there. Despite the distance. So this is somebody. Somebody's divine masculine. Is not as close as we want them to be. Uh. That's a fucked up shit. But that's good. When your divine masculine is far away. It proves. What type of divine feminine you are. And it makes you grow very fast. Okay? You have to do things now. To get together. So you have to really work to make the money to be independent enough to be with your person. So it's not a bad thing. If you're close together, together you get stuck in your ways. Then you are not divine because you don't do shit. So the universe is fighting. I'm secretly obsessed with you. <laughs> yes, I, he says, I fell in love from the moment I saw you. I don't know, I'm relating to this. I'm resonating, guys. <laughs> I love you so much, no matter what. Let me say, fully. Resonating. I'm secretly obsessed with you. Let me say, the universe is fighting for our souls to be together. I, I surely feel like that. Because I don't know. It says, I love you so much, but I am keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Magic, babes. Ooh. So somebody's divine masculine is under the ma influence of magic. Whenever you don't understand what you're doing, it's because magic is making you do it, right? So that's what it, that's why it's unexplainable. Because <laughs> the only person that knows it is the one that's putting the magic. They understand it. All right. This is worse than Harry Potter bullshit. This is are we doing for Aries? 
Five of cups, two of cups, right? They don't understand why. They don't understand. Don't hate them Aries. They don't understand. It's magic, okay? And they're stressed right now about this shit, okay? So, they plan to make it right. But they're wondering what can you give to them. Somebody's here in love with you trying to leave your ass. You know, they, they, they walk away from you and that. And they're wondering, what can you give to them? Eight of Cups, two of Wands with a star. And all of a sudden, now they regret. <laughs> they regret it and they want to heal shit. They regret walking away. Is that what it is? And they want to try healing. Anyway, guys, say a prayer for me. Let me know when you want a personal reading. And stay motivated. Because obviously this, this reading this says this is the first reading I've done. I'm doing 12 of them, so this is number nine. That is showing the two of cups. But he's showing it right next to the five of cups. So two of cups is disappointment, focus on failure and sadness. Five of cups, sorry. Is a pentacles. Two of Cups, <clears throat> Seven of Cups, and Three of Wands. All of a sudden, you know, the lovers with the Empress. <laughs> Ten of Swords, Bumbleclad. So, wow. You, this person thinks that this Divine Masculine thinks that the Divine Feminine has somebody else. Yeah, it's over, and the Empress. The Empress. Show somebody else, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, definitely. So this Divine Masculine thinks that the Divine Feminine have somebody else. So he's, he, his energy is here moping, Masculine energy is here saying, Oh, I want to manifest the Divine Feminine, but she have new possibilities. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you feel about them, Empress? I was going to ask. He says disappointed um fear of the unknown. How does divine feminine feel? Two of swords, yeah. Divine feminine is avoiding this nonsense here because they are afraid of being disappointed, lack of planning, obstacle, procrastinating. Torn between two relationships. The divine feminine is actually a juggler or being juggled. I don't know. Nine of Wands with the full. The Divine Feminine is resisting the new beginning or trying to fight for a new beginning. I don't know. What's the lovers? Six of Pentacles, four of swords. Somebody talking to somebody. What else? One more. Mm -hmm. King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. So somebody. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Divine Feminine is probably attached to somebody else. The Lovers is here with the Six of Pentacles. Giving to more than one person. And then there's a King of Wands here. And then there's a Divine Masculine here. Thank God the Empress Upright. Ten of Pentacles is the Marriage. Nine of Swords, Anxiety. Seven of Wands. So this Divine Masculine here. Is grieving the divine feminine. Well, the divine feminine is also disappointed and trying to avoid torn between two relationships. I can't make it up, guys. Two of swords with the three of wands in reverse. The divine feminine is like married and ship. What's the outcome? Four swords, they're not going to be talking. Meditation, peace and quiet. Planning for the future with the five of one in reverse. In a conflict, peace. They're not talking, but they're at least going to be at peace. You know, with the moon. Secretly, intuition, feeling each other. 
knowing that one of these days they're gonna be together guys i'm not even making it up <laughs> it's here i can't believe it's here but it's, it's here yeah, we don't shuffle anymore. What's the advice? So I think that was going to be the heading. I guess we'll be together one of these days. Is that it? The moon. The ace of swords. Ace of wands, sorry. Queen of wands, yeah. Aries. Three of swords. Two of cups. Ten of wands. Ten of cups. Seven of Pentacles. Yes, it's going to be, it's going to be after the heartbreak though, because somebody have to leave somebody, guys. Lovers is here, obviously, so somebody have to leave somebody, and then they they go into the Two of Cups. That's good that the Two of Cups is here twice, cause so this is a deep, very deep situation between people who love each other. It says this. I'm just so stressed. They want to leave everything. Three wisdom. The tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound that it makes. And write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Yeah, you're going to need God. You're going to need God in this. Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal everything, anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is just fine. Transformation. The fairy tells you to surrender to transformation in your life. That's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation because the best is yet to come. And temptation. Are you in, de in denial about unhealthy habits? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. So however temptation is hiding, you are being advised that you can overcome it, whatever it is. If you're eating too much, I don't really think I have temptation. Right now I'm very happy, so I'm in a celebrative mode. But when I'm ready, I'm just... I'm not really addicted to anything. Outcome. Other than the people on them, son. That's the outcome. Yeah. Healing the conflict. Getting balance. But not, not talking about it. Healing each other. Okay. Yeah. I like the outcome. I mean, some people are not, they can't talk because of whatever the reason is. And we're all not the same. We're not all extroverts and fearless people. <laughs> some people are very coward. Very coward. Okay? I don't want to give you a long video for everybody to see that Aries video longer. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming to my channel. You are appreciated. You know? If you love the divine feminine as a woman, you know, sometimes it's okay to ask her opinion before doing things. That's what's called being considerate. You know? I just wanted to put that in there.